Hi and welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial will show us how we can use our smartphone in SketchWay to create a WhatsApp status saver. So you can see this is a WhatsApp status saver that we tested on Android 11 and Android 12 devices. So it says it is going to work with all assurance. It's going to work on Android 5 to Android 12 devices. As Android 13 is coming now, they say it will also work on Android 13. So I've taken my time to understand how to read and write WhatsApp files to storage. So this is a WhatsApp status saver. We can save it in terms of video. We can play the video and save it. So we can play the video and save it. So I'll show us how we can do this in SketchWay. So we create our SketchWay Pro project and we change our config. To 31 that means our app is targeting android 12 the next thing we are going to do is we are going to enter our project inside our project we have a recycler view we have a recycler view this is our recycler view and then we have a custom view custom view course then inside the custom view i had a vertical vertical linear layout which i convert which i convert to a frame layout and i change the background color to white change the background color to white then add an image view add an image view with another image view image view 2 to indicate that it's a video so i'm going to set a gravity so it will be in the center then i'm going to set the height of our main image which will show the thumbnail or the image in our recycler view so now we are going to connect our recycler view to our custom view by doing this i'm going to connect the two of them by doing that with it being connected we're going to add all these components I'm going to add them so we can see all of them the five picker name type should be star because whatsapp status is so it doesn't even really matter because we're not really using it so we're just using the five picker component because of we want to get storage permission because sketchway automatically adds storage permission when you add the five picker so we are going to add all this so we come here we check for import we check import on activity resolve but since i've added mine so it won't show so we are going to import this we are going to import this so prevent any form of errors then we are also going to add this so from android 10 whatsapp change where they save status they change the hidden folder so if your device your user device if your user device is android 10 and above this is where they save it but if they are android 9 and below this is where they save it so that is whatsapp changing where they they save it So now, when the users click the pick button to pick the folder where they save, because we have to pick the folder. For instance, we have to pick the folder to be able to access the file. So this we pick the folder. When the user open the app, they have to pick the folder where WhatsApp saves it. So by picking it, they get all the status. That way, we can continually save it by doing this. So now, when they click the pick button, this triggers our result is an is a number which is one. The one is a number which is one. So we are going to also make sure our app compact is enabled. Our app compact is enabled. Will that be enabled? So we come to our activity results. So
so now we are checking if the action the user carried out is one so if the request code is one if the request code is one like the one i showed us just now is one then we are now going to get the uri to get the uri we use this code so we created a path string a map map a map hash map a map hash map and a uri using custom variable uri so i created two uri you can create two uri like this by writing uri and initial uri initial uri initial uri so now we are going to equals our uri to the uri user send us when they pick a file sorry when they pick a folder android returns a uri so to, we are going to store this uri that android gives us so our custom uri we created so now we are going to use this code this code what it does is is to save the permission in case the users off their device and uninstall the device so if they off their device and on it back so for instance when we they grant us the permission to access whatsapp folder you don't need to ask them for permission again until they uninstall your app so you can see that no need of asking for permission again the whatsapp automatic the android automatically grants that storage permission so we are now going to check if this code is to check if we can read the file and if we can write the file if we can read and write it then we are going to use our hash, our map and use by doing this these are the blocks we are going to use our map by saving the name of the file so to get the name of the file from the folder is using this to get the name and to get the URI, we get the URI, then we add it to our list map. And to create a list map, we do this. So I just name my list map. You can name yours anything. So this list map we use to bind it to our our recycler view. So then we set our adapter to our recycler view. After that, we added to list map. So we add the data from list map to recycler view. So we are now going to store our URI. So our shared preference using this key called file so we are saving the uri as a string by doing uri to string so now we come to our create so to be able to display our data in grid format we are going to use recycler view so by setting layout manager so this tray is the number of col the number of rows so if you change the tray to four it will appear in four so you can see mine is three that is appearing here so if you change yours to four it will appear in four this code is for removing our back button action bar so when when the users will start the app we don't want to ask the user for permission again so how are we going to do that we're going to check since i've saved the uri which is the permission since i've saved the uri which is the permission we're going to check if the permission the uri has been saved by using this shared preference code if the shared preference contains a uri so this code means if the ur the shared preference contains a uri then we are going to get that uri to our string code part so now we are going to use our initial URI to paste parts. So we are going to convert it from string to part using this URI to paste parts to convert it to a URI. Then we are going to pass the URI to our document tree. Then we do what we do in our activity results. Then we set our adapter. So this this command block what it does you can locate our command block for more block so i'm using the xml command block and i'm writing this as find and replace find and replace 
the name of our Android will manifest. So from Android 11, some Android 12, sorry. If your launcher activity doesn't have this code, you haven't installed, you haven't even be allowed to enter Play Store if you don't have this code. So that is all. So we come to our view activity. Our view activity. So before that, let's check our unbind custom view of our recycler view. Our unbind custom view. So we use our layout params block. Our layout params block to match parents and wrap content is our layout param block so we check if the name of the file is a video that is being with mp4 or if it's an image image format can be png jpg or jpeg then if it's an image then we use our set image from url block like this so we are going to add the image we are going to load the image from the parts which is in uri we are going to add it to an, our image view and this is to check if the file contains dot no media you can see this is what is called dot no media Okay, this is what we call our dot no media file but we don't need it it's not useful to us we don't need it at all so we are going to check if the return part contains dot no media file if it contains dot no media file then we are going to hide our item otherwise we should have a recycler view item so when recycler view is being clicked when an item recycler view is being clicked we go to our next activity Go to our next activity, which I created, which I created, and I name mine view activity. You can name yours anything. So I added an image view, and a video view, an image view and a video view. So in our own create, we are going to play. We are going to play the files. We are going to check first of all we are going to get the key the key which is the key i passed to our recycler view is the key which i passed to our recycler view so we are now going to check if if the picked file if they clicked file the, the file the user click on our recycler view is a video is a video then we are going to play video if it's a if it's an image then we are going to send image from your right And we make sure we import our necessary classes. So now to save the file, to save the file, that is to copy the file from the hidden part that WhatsApp saves it to our public file. We are going to make sure our app. We're going to make sure our app has this library. I'm going to make sure I have this library. So Android only gives us five parts. Sorry, Android only gives us your array from Android 11 and above. So since it gives us the URI, we're going to convert the URI to an output, so to an input stream. So we're going to convert the URI to an input stream. So when the save button is clicked, that is image 3 is my save button. So at the end of the video, please download the project to understand the practical knowledge of everything so when the project is when the file is being clicked we're going to create our folder for where we want to save the status so i'm saving my status in the download folder save my status in download folder So when the user click save button, we are going to save. So 
this is my save path i can see this is my save path i'm saving it in download status and name the name is the name of the file so if the file is saved it will throw saved in if it's not saved it will fail to save and it will give you the reason why it failed to save thank you for watching this video it took 15 minutes to make this tutorial but it took me two days to actually make this project so you can really support by subscribing and liking and sharing this video please know that this project is purely for educational purpose only is to enhance your knowledge on how file how to read file how to copy file and how to save file in android 11 12 even 9 and below so this method works from android 5 to android 13 in safe Thanks for watching the video, please subscribe.